Hey, how's it going? My name is Rudwan Alam. My background's in energy engineering. I did that for several years in the commercial and industrial sector. And then I jumped over doing business development in the solar PV sector. And I did that for about a year. And then I taught myself software engineering for about the past year. And that's when I really started to understand how technology can have a huge impact on society and push it forward. I really didn't feel completely fulfilled. So I decided to jump into data science boot camp. And this is where I really started understanding as far as how much of an impact I can have on that. And so at the conclusion of this boot camp, I would like to work with a company that works on emerging technologies, such as something like the Hyperloop, Tesla, or SpaceX. And that's what I would like to do with my future. Anyways, without further ado, I'll go ahead and jump into my project. All right, so my project is on autonomous driving object detection. So as far as the common saying goes, a picture is a thousand words. Well, in this case, I like to say a picture is a thousand directions. And let me explain why. So here we have a Tesla autopilot and then it'll show you the cameras and exactly what's happening. So here we have a bunch of cameras detecting cars and people and then dogs and that feeds the information to the Tesla where essentially it shows it, okay, this is where you need to turn, this is what you need to do at this point. And so what we want to do is build a object detector model just recognizing these couple of objects. So jumping into that, so that's essentially what we're doing, just recognizing traffic signs, lights, and other vehicles on the road, just a couple of classes just to begin with and then going from there. But first we need to figure out, okay, how are we gonna do that exactly? So my classmates actually referred me to a open source notebook that helped me get started. So then as far as my workflow goes, I'll be utilizing the darknet open source neural network and that'll help me build my YOLO real-time object detector model. So darknet again is a framework so that's a neural network and then YOLO is a real-time object detector. So before we delve into what YOLO is exactly what it does, first we need to understand what an object detector typically does or what it did before. So it'd be a sliding window and so it'd go over the picture until finally it found the car or the object in this case and so it was very computer intensive and very heavy. So the thing is, it wasn't very fit for a real time object detector model because it was just way too cumbersome. However, Joseph Redmond created YOLO, which is something that's a little different because it's a lot more efficient and it's called you only look once. So essentially here the process is you have a picture of a dog and a bike and a truck in the back. So it's going to do grid segmentation and break up the image first. Then it'll break up the, identify the different classes. So it'll look at dog, it'll look at the bike, and then it'll look at the truck. And then finally, it'll do image localization, which basically locates the image, the objects within the image. So it locates the dog, it locates the bike, and it locates the truck. So you have these boundary boxes around the objects, and then you have a, a lot of boundary boxes that are actually around nothing at this point, but that's okay. Because when you put it all together, the YOLO object detector is able to classify it as a dog, a bike and a truck and it locates exactly where the object is. So this is very crucial to our model because this will enable it, our object detector model to be a lot more efficient than what we saw previously. So couple that with the dark net, we'll be on our way. But first we need to collect our images. So as far as the images go, we'll be collecting pictures of cars, traffic lights, stop signs and traffic signs. So I'm sure you're wondering why collect pictures of stop signs when that's a traffic sign. Well, there are actually pre-chained weights on several classes and some of those classes being cars, traffic lights, and stop signs. So we want to utilize that to increase our precision for the model. And the higher precision we have, the more certainty the model can say, hey, this is a car, this is a stop sign, etc. However, unfortunately with the traffic sign, there's a pre-trained model. So that precision will probably be lower, but that's okay. We can continue to iterate. So now that we have all our pictures, now that we have our model ready, we're going to run our pictures through and the dark net and yellow and then start building our model. So here is the first result. And so as you can see, it recognizes the traffic lights, it recognizes the cars, excellent. Can it recognize the traffic signs? Yes, it can. So basically we have a very first iteration of a YOLO object detector model made with dark net. So this is fantastic. But now the question is how do we exactly quantify this? So we look at the mean average precision. And like I aforementioned, that's essentially looking at the model will pick up an object within a video or image and identify as one of these four classes. So 
it's 80% sure that it's a car when it identifies a car and it's higher percentage as far as stop signs and a high percentage when it's a traffic light. But with traffic signs, it's not as sure, however you saw in the model, that it could still pick it up because there's a lower threshold there. However, this is something that we can improve upon. So it's okay for a beginning object detector, this is fine, this will work, and then we'll kind of go through the iterations. So as far as what I want to end up with, it's essentially a dash cam mobile app. So what this would do is you turn on the app on your phone and it uses your camera and then it tracks the objects in real time. So unfortunately, my model is not in this Android app and the Android folder was already built in the open source notebook. All I had to do was put it through Android Studio. And then after that, I built it out and deployed it onto my phone. I changed the name of it, the logo, and a couple of display things to customize a little bit. But here's an example of what I would like for it to look like with my model. So I called it Dashcam with the K, you know, we're a cool, hip tech startup. And so it's tracking the cars and the trucks in real time. And this is fantastic. This is exactly what we want. So this works out fine. And in the future, we want to implement my model here so it can pick up the traffic signs as well. So in conclusion, with the object detector, key takeaway is the more you feed it, the better it is. And so with the traffic signs, we want to feed it more so it becomes more precise. And future work, like I showed you, of building a mobile app. So before I conclude my presentation, I actually want to leave with this sentence and going back to Joseph Redmond, who created YOLO, he actually created YOLO to push human innovation, but someone from the military came up to him and said, hey, we actually use this type of technology to track cars and obviously people and for drone technology and that can hurt people. It does hurt people. He was horrified. And so he decided that he would not work on any more computer vision projects starting beginning of 2020. And so with this being said, what you saw, what I think it's pretty cool, what we can do as data scientists, but we do have a responsibility to be ethical in our work for the sake of society because we have so much influence and can have influence and that's something to keep in mind. So with that, that's the end of my presentation. Please go to my website at ridwanalam.com for my portfolio or shoot me an email at ridwan102 at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.